everyone. Earlier today, I added a file to my personal website, rockcitytumblers.com. Here we go. So this file um, will let you open a free template that I designed to help you track your orders in Airtable. So if you haven't watched any of my Airtable tutorials, um, I have a couple, they're here on my website, they're here in the group under technology unit, um, and so if you want to check those out, they're pretty awesome. So if you go to my website, rockcitytumblers.com, this was just the easiest place for me to store it, um, and I have a file or a spot on my website called tutorials. So if you click on that, it will take you to a page. So you it has a link to our Curious Crafters group. So if you know anyone who needs the link, just you can send them here. Um, I've also posted the link directly um, as well. But if you scroll on down, here are the two tutorials that I have. I plan on doing some more soon um, on how to track your orders and how to create forms in Airtable. So if you keep scrolling down, here's the free download. So this is a CSV file. So what that means is it's pack packaged up this template into a lot of little jumbled computer language for you to download a little file on your computer. And uh, there should not be any viruses or anything that I'm aware of. Um, it is as clean as it possibly can be. Uh, so you download it to your computer and then you log into Airtable or create an account if you don't already have one. Um, and then you upload it. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that. All right, so here I am. I'm just going to click download. And it's going to ask where I want to save it. So I typically save this stuff to my, um, my desktop just so I can easily find it. So you would select where you want to save it. Okay, so it put it on my desktop. see here. I'm going to scooch it over here so y'all can see it. So that's the file, that little b file. So um, if I opened it, it's just a bunch of mumbo jumbo. So you don't open it on your computer. It's not going to hurt anything, but you can't do anything with it if you open it on your computer. So just leave it sitting there looking pretty. So now what you want to do is you want to open Airtable which is Airtable.com, you will sign in. Um, I'm already signed in because I use this all the time. But if you're not, you come over here and you can um, create an account. Um, and it's free to make an account. It might make you go to your email to verify your account before it'll f officially let you in. So you set up an account here. And what you want to do is you want to add a base. So you can create all sorts of bases. All of this is free. So you want to create a base right here. So this little plus. And um, you want to import a spreadsheet. So that little file that you got off of my website is a spreadsheet. So you're going to click this, import a spreadsheet. And ta-da, it says choose a CSV file, which is what we have right here. Okay, so I'm going to click choose a CSV file. I'm just going to go to my computer and it wants me to select it. So I'm going to click in here or I could, I could drop it in that little window if I want to. So I'm going to pick the sample order tracker. That's the name of the file. I'm going to click open and it pops it in here and I'm going to upload. So now you don't have to create your template. So I'm going to name this, this um, so maybe um, the name of your Tumblr company is Gilded Rose Order Tracking. So you can name it whatever you want. This is completely customizable. So we're just going to call this one example, just so in case somebody does actually have 
Gilded Rose, I'm not stepping on their toes. So you can name this whatever you want. So I'm going to call this one example order tracking for Facebook Live so we know. Um, some of this, the colors options could possibly be um, an upgrade. I have the upgraded account, but um, I think it will let you pick these little tiles. And then you can come down and pick, um, pick which little emoji icon you want, which is not that big of a deal. Um, I know I don't really look for a certain uh, little icon, but that's me. Um, let's just click this little smiley face. All right. So now that we have um, named it, we've imported it, I'm going to click on it to open the space. So you can see here the name carried over from what I named it earlier. Um, and you have this imported table. So I, the columns are all here from the template, but the drop downs are not. So apparently that won't save. And you can change any of these. So, like if you don't like this promise to ship column, you just right click, which is your, your, mouse button closest to your pinky finger that is what a right click is called and you can um, customize it you can rename it so um, you could just say ship by date if you want to um, you could change it to any kind of field you'd like they have all sorts of pre-determined fields and that way when you put an information in here it it knows what what you're what kind of information like are you putting a phone number are you putting a date are you putting a website or an email address so if you don't put like the at gmail.com in this then it's going to tell you it's not valid it's not a valid field phone numbers it's going to go ahead and try to put the area code um, and the di dashes in there for you so it just helps you keep your information as accurate and as possible so I'm going to pick date because this is a date field and then you can even pick what kind of date do you like to spell out the month are you um are you a military person because this is how my husband does the date here this European uh, I like the the local Yes, I want to convert it to the date field. All right. Okay, so these are already set at, um, should be set at money. Apparently they didn't, that didn't come in. So I'm going to set that one at currency. And I like the, the two decimal points. If you don't like the decimal points, you can just pick this top one here. So these apparently the field types don't don't pull in so you can change that real easy. Currency and the two zeros. This one's currency as well. Right click. Pick currency. So these columns over here like the progress column. Um, I had a whole lot of um, different fields already set up. Let me open up my. So this Tumblr size already has all of the tumblers that I make in the drop down. So you're going to have to just rebuild those over here, like in the Tumblr type. So you want to pick single select because you're only going to pick one thing from the drop down because each row is one tumbler so single select so it's trying to bring them in here a couple of them I think it's just bringing them in from the line because it was already in the line <clears throat> So we want to 
add an option. So if you if you offer a baby bottle, you add that baby bottle blue. Then maybe you order a margarita glass. And I've been working a lot of the 24 ounce hogs. So you can put all of your, the tumblers that you order, or that you offer right here. So you can go down, you can add as many as you want. So progress, this is where you want to change it. This is how I do it, and I have this set up to match my physical board on, on my wall so that I can keep track. So I wanted to pick the single select again. And I want to add um, in design process, whatever your um, whatever your phases are. Shipped, completed, decal process, ready to be put on Etsy. So you can see, and then if you need to reorder that, so like maybe completed is down here, you can just click and drag these with those little dots. So we do decal before needs to be shipped goes here. And we do glitter before the design. So you can reorder those. So hit save. So unfortunately, the drop downs don't travel with it. So if you need to um, scroll over, you can with this bar down here at the bottom. So this one I want to make, I'm going to right click, customize the field. We want to do the single select again. And then we want to add a no. So like since this one here was a gift, they don't have to be prepaid. So if this one, they haven't paid yet, they could say no, and then when they pay, pay that you can hit yes. So we want this date ship to be a date field. Tracking number should just be a single line of text. Email address, we want to be an email field. So you have to clean it up just a little bit, but you can start from, from here instead of having to create your own. So here's where um, these come in. Single select. Let's see, where else? Website. Uh, Maybe you're just experimenting. That's where your order came in. Work. Husband's work. So this is comes in handy that when you want to track where your most of your orders are coming from. Maybe you do um, a craft fair. You can even craft fair that you went to on August. 20th, 2019. So later on, if you wanted to chart some of these order origins, you can. So once you get this set up, you can come to this view here where it says grid view and make a form. And this form, you can pick what field you want on it and your customers can fill out this form. You can send them a link, they can fill it out, and their information will populate on your order tracker, and then you go in and you keep it updated, um, and they won't ever see your order tracker, but they see the form. So this is super awesome, 
because you could have it so you're at a um, craft fair you could have this form up on your iPad and they could type it in or you could type it in uh, if you have a marble party marble paint party you can use this form as well things like that so I'm going to click create this form and what it's doing is it's bringing in all of the fields that were on my other other spreadsheet I'm just going to call this customized form, but you can call it Rock, Rock City Tumblr's form, Gilded Rose form, whatever the name of your, your company is, you can, you can put that there if you'd like. So then you can come in here and you can edit your form. So instead of saying sale or order, because that's what I've called the column in the spreadsheet, we could just say description of Tumblr. And then there's a little extra spot you can say, please describe. And is this a required question? I say yes. You can even have like example. So white and purple glitter with the high school lion on it. So customer, so you can put your name because the customer's filling this out. So they're going to see your name. They're not going to see the word customers like you do. So you can put here like what type of, what size tumbler would you want? Please pick from the drop down. So they can either see a drop down or a list. So this is where it's super awesome. So you can either have them where they physically go through and they click the drop down and they scroll or they just see the list. So they can kind of see all of their options, but they can only pick one. So they can't accidentally order a blue and a pink baby doll. In, on one form or baby bottle um, and you can either you can also take out with this limit so if you're out of baby bottles or you really don't want to make them right now you can turn things off and on so I'm going to turn on everything but the baby bottles so now it hides those but on my spreadsheet over here my baby bottle option is still here. So I'm not losing it, I'm not deleting it. It's still in my list. The, it's just the people in the form, the people who go to the customized form, they can't see it over here on the form. So they don't need to see this progress. This progress column is just for you. So this is where you can hide that. So I'm going to, so that's supposed to be a little eyeball with a slash through it. So I'm going to click that and hide it. Hey, someone, I think someone joined for four seconds, but they're gone. <laughs> Trying to watch the questions. Okay, so order origin. So if you want them to put, like, where did you hear about me? Or us, if you if you're plural, me or us. So again, you can have a list or you can have a drop down. It's up to you. Um, I think if you have like a big list of stuff, then your form gets really like physically long on the screen. So that might be why you choose the drop down. But um, I, I don't know, you know, I don't know what, why you wouldn't. Um, and you might require it. Or don't require it but they can't submit the form unless they fill out all of the required so I feel like um, the name should be required for sure the tumblr type should be required unless unless you're um, wanting to figure things out later you might have a an option here um, on your your spreadsheet to you know Mona will figure that out later things like that so date ordered, 
I definitely want that. I want them to put that in because it does not come in. We don't we don't see what day they submitted the the thing. And so we need to go change that one, I think, to be a a date field. So all of this saves in real time. Right click, customize, change it to a date. Okay, so Tumblr type, we're going to add another option down here that says, um, we'll decide later. That way, on the form, we'll turn that one on, they can still acknowledge this question and put something in. And submit it because if they select the wrong one they really weren't sure which size tumbler they wanted but they had to hit something just to get the form to submit so that's when you can put these kind of empty options in there so that they can um, answer the question without setting themselves up for the wrong tumbler um, so you know we could add all sorts of where did you hear from us word of mouth friend things like that. So now because I changed that date ordered field to a date field, you see how it's already populating that it's a predetermined field. This little star means it's required. So um, I don't want to see or um, maybe maybe you could change this to date you need the tumbler by. That way you know what your deadline is. Um, I'm going to hide the price. Again, I'm going to hide that. So when I hide a field, it's over here. I can always bring it back if I want. I'm going to hide the shipping because um, that's just stuff for me. That might not be stuff for the order form. So again, if they're ordering the date shipped and the tracking number doesn't need to be on there, so I'm hiding that. Okay, I want the email address to be required. I really want an email address. So if I need another field added, I need to add it over here on my grid view. And then go turn it on on the form. Like I don't have a phone number. So I'm going to click the little plus. I want to add a field. We're going to call this phone number. I don't think there was a phone number. I've made a lot of these lately. So we're going to pick phone number. So I'm going to go back to my grid view and all of this saves instantaneously. It's so awesome. So it should be down at the very bottom. Oh, it's over here. So I'm just going to click and drag it. And if I wanted it up higher, I could. I want it required. Best number to reach you. So these little description fields are not going going over to my spreadsheet and clogging up my spreadsheet. So none of these titles changed. Those were just the titles for the form, but when they fill it out it'll populate in that column. So I'm going to go back to my my view, my form. So um, we're going to call this Tumblr Company A. Thank you so much. So whatever text you want to put in there, you go for it. Now, 
I believe the logo and the cover image are only available on the upgraded version, which is about $120 a year. So I don't think you need it, um, in my opinion. I think it's fine. This is, it is it's working just fine without it. So I wouldn't worry about paying the money just for those, those features. So if you want to see what the form looks like, you can come up here to open the form. Whoever joined, hi, thank you for joining. <laughs> um, so we're kind of in the middle of this little tutorial. So this is what the form looks like. So you would send this to your customers. You could have this on your website um, and, and multiple people can fill it out. Uh, and I think I can fill it out right now on the sample. Um, so Mona on Facebook Live is my name. Oh, description of Tumblr, not name. Um, I want a 40 ounce for my husband, wood grain, with a guitar. And the name Davy. So my name is Mona from the Facebook Live. Just so y'all can see this when it goes into the spreadsheet. So um, I said 40 ounce, but 40 ounce isn't in the drop down, but I maybe maybe we talk so I'm gonna select this we'll decide later that way I'm not getting Mona confused and picking the wrong size so where did I hear about it we were at the craft fair the other day they ordered that's today's date um, his birthday is September 28th so that's when I need the tumbler and put that date in there method of payment don't you love these customers? We'll pay you later. So um, you can make that a drop down too. We just didn't for the live. Any notes? Your tumblers are so pretty. Because you know all your customers love to give you compliments, right? So haven't prepaid. And um, I'm going to quickly type an email address. So, y'all don't see because it's going to pop up. Okay, so then they'll hit submit. And if they filled out everything, let's, um, let's forget the phone number so y'all can see what happens. So, oh, looks like they missed something. And it's in red. It's trying to let them know what they missed right up there. Thank you for submitting the form. So, you can even customize some of that, that verbiage as well. <clears throat> So I'm going to go back to my order tracker. I'm going to change my view to my spreadsheet. And you guys can see here is that order that I just placed. So it filled all of that information that your customer typed, that I typed, right into your order tracker. So you don't have to go do this. And there, I think there's an option on the form that you can even put to send you an email. So you know when there's something new that's been added. Yeah, right down here. S email me. So it's going to send you an email when you get a new form submitted. So that way you're not having to try to go through your spreadsheet and try to figure out what's new, what have I not noticed, things like that. You can redirect them after they submit it to your website. Or you can open another form, start a new form after they hit submit. And that way, if they're ordering multiple tumblers, the form will just re reset to a new one. And they can um, go through and add the next form. So there's there's all sorts of things that we can you can do. And I cover all of this in the other two tutorials that I currently have. So if you want to um, share the form, that's when you click this little share form. right up here and this is the link so you would just copy and paste that link uh, on your website you can embed it it'll give you if you have um, if you have a website it will give you the code so that you can embed it into your your website uh, if you need help with that let me know uh, you can put a password on this so that not everyone can fill out this form only people who have the password like maybe glitter 
that's the password. Um, so, and you can even have certain people with a certain email. And so if you have questions, just hover over the little question mark and it will help tell you more. So Airtable is super friendly, super nice. And I'm here if you guys have any kind of questions with this. Um, but the um, sample order tracker helps get you started. Um, you just kind of have to finish filling it out um, and making your columns uh, what you need them to be. So um, let me know if you need to watch the other tutorials to kind of catch up on some of the, these. Um, let me know and I can do more tutorials if you'd like. But this was a quick way that, um, that I thought you could take this and run with it. And you don't have to create each column. You're just kind of editing the columns to be what you need them to be. And you can move these columns around too. Just click and hold and drag it around. And so, and I'll scooch it. You want your notes over here. So it's super easy. Um, and if y'all have any questions, just let me know. And uh, you can access this from anywhere. You don't have to save it. You don't have to download it and email it to yourself. All of this is, is on the cloud at Airtable.com, and it's free. Um, I'm going to get off of here. Again, my name's Mona. If y'all have any questions, feel free to reach out to me, and I will do my best to help you. Y'all have a great weekend, and we'll see you soon. Bye.